All right, so excuse my sweat, it's been an uh, overwhelming one to get this video started. So if you don't mind, a like and a sub will be appreciated. Appreciated. Let's get to it, shall we? So um, if you haven't seen right now that I am going to record right here. So you all can see my recording, I guess. Yeah, all right. So today in this video, I'm going to do a little bit of something a little bit of um, what I would say slightly different more variety is always better right so I'm going to go ahead and do a Galaxy S tier list so if you all can see right here I'm already at the tier list on the phone thing I don't know how to call it so there you go right here we have Galaxy S7 we have class mer e-waste and S20 cause there's something worse than e-waste so let's get started with the first one, Galaxy S4. Let's see where we can put it at. Uh, uh, let's not put it at e-waste. I would say it's a mer phone. It's okay. It's not that bad. Okay. Um, as for zoom, e-waste. This is a S5 mini e-waste. Galaxy S7 Edge, S7. The S7 is so good. Galaxy S10 E class, Galaxy S20 FE class, Galaxy S21 Ultra. You see, I like the Ultra, okay, but it does have an identity crisis, so it's a meh. What is this? Galaxy S22. Um, I'm tempted to put it at e waste. Because it's literally an S21, but just a material upgrade and a battery downgrade so you waste s21 plus meh, i have no feelings for it s6 h plus uh, it, uh, it uh, it's redundant so e waste there, there is uh the note 5 made it redundant that's the problem with it the galaxy s7 galaxy s7 this is the best phone of all this is the best samsung of all time the best galaxy of all time. S7 Active is not so in certain countries, so it's class, but otherwise it would have been placed on the S7 class. Then we have Galaxy S8 Plus or S8. Oh, this is the S8. Um, class. S8 Plus, class. I see a lot of people are still using the S8 series, so. Oh, you know what? They go on to the S7 series. They go on. As it active, I love its design. I love how ugly it is to the point that it's beautiful in its own way. I'm so sorry for the camera. Ah, there you go. So let's put it at class. I know a lot of people who hate the design that is, but I love the design. I love its flat edge. It looks like a Galaxy A8 2018. Okay, Galaxy S9. Uh, when it was released, I didn't have feelings for it. So mer and mer for S9 Plus. Then what is this? S10 Plus or S9? I don't know, but. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, okay, so that's the S10, that's the S10 Plus. I can see from the pill shape cutoff. Then we have the Galaxy S2. It's literally a legend, so. Galaxy S7, it is. S10 5G. It's like a S21 Ultra. It's like a S20 Ultra. Uh, do I have to? Ah, you know what? Screw it. S20 belongs into the S20. What is this? S10 Lite, it's a waste. I do like the S10 Lite, but it just doesn't have a purpose to, ex to exist if you have the S10e. I mean, it's good for people who want a bigger S10e, but it's a bloody cheap S10, but uh, without wireless charging, and the plastic felt really, really cheap. So, there you go. S20 Plus, S20, uh, uh. The S20 series is a whole new level of disgusting. S21. Now, uh, to be fair to myself, I am an S21 user. I'm okay with the phone, but there is reliability issues. I kind of want to put it in the middle between class and mer. So, I have to really iron out things. So, on one hand, the phone is fine. I like the phone. On the other hand, it's it gets really hateful for me to use it. So, mer. S21 Plus. This I want to put it on class, but it doesn't have a reason to exist unless you really want a big phone without the money. So, 
Um, S21 FE, it's literally E waste, it's created just before the S22. S22 Ultra, I want to put it at E waste because it's it's a S series phone that's a Note, but because it is a Note and because we all love the Note, it's going on class. It's not going on the Galaxy S7, it's not as good as the S7 when it comes to feature wise. Fight me, boys. What is this? Galaxy S3, the first ever Samsung Galaxy to have wireless charging class. Uh, what is this? S3 Mini or is it S4 Mini? Oh, it looks like S3 Mini. It's e-waste automatically. What is this? S4 Active, e-waste. S5 and S5 Neo. By the way, there are some devices that I don't really include because they are technically the same phone but with different modems or different chipsets and whatnot. So really, I just... Uh, put them th put them together with the main phone that we're comparing. So, for example, the Galaxy S can be uh, Galaxy S vibrant and all that. So it will just be generalized as a whole. Uh, that is going to be on. People hated that phone, right? You waste. S five mini. I hate that phone. What is this? S five active. I hate you. No, actually, it's, you're not the bad. You're not the bad. Let's just put you up there. Oh wait, did I put an S7 active on class? Oh yeah, I did. Okay, Galaxy S6. I want to put it on E-Ways because it's literally rubbish compared to the S5, but the S5 is really kind of rubbish enough. You know what? The S5 active can stay right here. Which one's the S5? Oh, that's the S5 mini. Okay, the S5 can stay right there. The S5 active, I remember... I have it somewhere and I don't know where I put it in. Okay, never mind. The S5 Active is on EUA, just know that. Um the S6 Edge is meh, it's a showpiece. No, actually no one is trash. Uh Galaxy S, the one that started it all. Galaxy S. So the reason why the S2 is so high on top is because it's still receiving Android 12, unofficially. And the reason why the S7 series is getting so much love from me, not because I'm biased, is because these things are freaking tanks, okay? They are freaking powerful and all that. The rest of them are meh 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 at best, I guess. The S20 FE is really good. The S21 FE, I, I'm really tempted to put it at the S20 category. But because I am a fair and loving Samsung fanboy, I wouldn't do that, right? We have the uh, we have the S twenty two which is e waste. I don't know if I really want to put it there or not. The thing is, the S twenty two plus has a reason to exist. It's got a bigger battery. It's six point six inches closer to the S twenty one. It has a reason to exist. The S twenty two also has a reason to exist. It's more of a replacement to the S ten e, but also a downgrade when it comes to battery towards the S twenty one. I don't. Uh, you know what? Is it? Oh. Christ six. Okay, there you go. Yeah, the the rest is that I guess. Um so here's my tier. As a round down we have the Galaxy S7 S7 H, the S8 S8 Plus, Galaxy S2 and the Galaxy S in the God tier list, which is the S7. We have the S10e, S20 FE, S7 Active, S8 Active, S10, S10 Plus, S10 5G, and the Note 22 or S22, whatever, and the Galaxy S3 on class. Then we have the S4, S21 Ultra, the S22 Plus, S9, S9 Plus, S21, S21 Plus, S5 Active. Why is it a map? Um, S5 and the S22 Plus all in meh. E waste S4 Zoom, of course. There's no use for it. S4 Mini, it's disgustingly small. It's too small for my liking. I mean, I bet the SE is also that small, but the screen is way bigger on the SE. Um, S8, S6 H Plus, S10 E, no, S10 Lite, no reason to exist at all. S3 Mini, S4. 
4 active, S5 active, S6, S6H, and the E waste or gain Galaxy S5 active. Then we have the S20 series and the S21. FE in S20. Now you see the S20, F, the S21 FE in the bed. But so if you were to launch it way earlier, like last year with the S21 series, I could have put, I could have gotten it to mer or class. But because Samsung, I mean, the chip shortage, you don't blame Samsung for chip shortages. It goes on to the S20. It really doesn't have any reason to exist. And if you want a better deal, I think the Galaxy S20 FE is a better deal. That's why it's all the way up there on class. So. Thank you all so much for watching, that's my list, um, feel free to judge me, um, kill me, or whatnot, and uh, yeah, I'll do it to the Note series, yeah, and the A series also, trust me, the A series is gonna be very chaotic, right, peace, bye.